sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Garrett on 18 here, and today in this video we do have another latest editions video, and I did get, uh, what, four things in by mail? And, uh, two of the things I didn't take out of the box yet and two things I already did take out so one of the things here I did get the uh, the Marvel Legends Deadpool 2 movie version cable which is a sick figure man I already did post my review of it if you would like to check it out and this is a really dope Marvel Legends figure I'm pretty damn impressed with how this turned out now I'm even more hyped to get some of some of the more other um, X-Men movie characters like uh, Deadpool and Wolverine and uh, I, I think I want to get Mystique and Domino as well so I did get that. Another thing I got is one of my most anticipated figures of the year which did not disappoint and that is the Mesco 112 Gambit which I already did review as well so that is already up on my channel if you would like to check out that review as well. Dope figure man and and now I'm patiently waiting for the Mafex version of Gambit to release as well. Just a, a, such a cool figure, man. Mezco uh, really put a lot of care into making that Gambit. Now the two things I just got in the mail today here. I did get this from Ami Ami. Totally forgot this was coming in the mail. And pretty hyped uh, for this figure here. It, it looks awesome so far from what I've seen from pictures on Facebook and Instagram and stuff so let's see what we got from Ami Ami it's a pretty cool uh, box actually I dig the way this box looks and it is the Revol Tech Amazing Yamaguchi uh, Midoriya and a lot of people are really hyped for this figure and All Might as well and this looks Pretty damn dope. I do like the, the green to the box. Really pops, you know what I mean? The ear looks pretty dope, though. And I think this is, like, from Season 3 onward, uh, the version of Deku here. So this is definitely going to be one of my next reviews on my channel here. We got a better look at the figure. Oh, I love the effects he's included with. Those look dope. Very cool, man. We have the interchangeable eyes, which I do prefer that more over articulated eyes. Because articulated eyes, you think you have to have them both looking in the same direction, then you gotta reposition one of the eyes, and then that's still off, then you're saying you gotta reposition the other eye, and it's like, God damn it, just look in the same direction, articulated eyes. So that's one thing I got. And then the last thing I got here is in a pretty big box here and this I am pretty damn hyped for so let's see what we got here and it is the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to the Secret of the Ooze Super Shredder and this thing man this thing is massive jeez the way they painted him, they kind of gave it like more of like a comic booky or, or or cartoony type look with the shading with the white and black lines, you know what I mean? But it, it, it still looks like a dope figure, man. And his eyes look crazy. It's funny. When you watch this movie when you were younger, you probably didn't think of it, but when he drank the ooze, it didn't just transform his body, it transformed in his armor as well, which makes no sense at all. But, uh, that's Ninja Turtles for you, so this is also going to be another upcoming review. And still on my review table is the Mezco Supreme Knight Batman, and I think that's it, actually. I was supposed to review uh, the Hasbro Cobra Commander, I just didn't get around to it yet. I've been kind of kind of slacking on videos lately, so uh, i got to get back into the groove of making them again. So uh, that is my editions video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later with these reviews here. Ugh.